In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the frame parameters on your Redline Embroider machine. First, you need to make sure that you have no frame selected. You will see a red X here. That means that you have no frame selected. Okay, uh, if you don't have a red X right here, you need to go to frame select. So you press here and then frame select and then frame select and then using the arrow keys you need to move until it says no and then you confirm it then exit and then you will see the red X here next we need to locate uh, the center of a frame basically what we need to do is to move the pantograph to the center of a frame. I will highly recommend to move the sewing head to needle number one because you might get confused by having so many needles you might get confused watching the wrong needle. So in this case we're going to press the three needle icon and then we're going to press number one and the sewing head is going to move to needle number one. Then you need to press the right arrow to go to the next menu and then you press this icon right here. And then set frame origin and then auto set frame origin. The panograph is going to move. Okay, then exit and then we need to reset our coordinates of the position of the pantograph. So you press the little C that we have here. And then a window will pop up saying do you want to clear X and Y. And then you confirm this. So as you can see now we got zeros on our coordinates. What we need to do next is to locate the center of a frame. So we're going to move the pantograph to a center of a frame. How do you know where is the center of a, of, of a frame? So we're going to create a pattern in order to locate the center of, of the frame. So in this case, I'm going to use the 19 centimeter hoop and then I'm going to trace the hoop on a piece of paper. like that and then I'm going to cut that circle and then we're going to fold it in half like this and then we're going to twist and fold it like this And then we got our center right here. Then what we need to do is to put the frame into the machine. And then we need to place the pantograph to the center of that frame. We're going to use our pattern to locate the center of that frame. Using the arrow keys we're going to move the panograph to the center of that frame there we go And there you go, there is our, our panograph, it's placed at the center 
of the frame C or 19 centimeter. So we exit. Okay, once we have placed our pantograph to the center of a frame, uh, what we need to do is to copy this coordinates. In this machine, in this case, it's going to be plus 99 minus 51. Position X, 99. Position Y, minus 51. Okay, to set up the frame parameters, we will need to go to settings and then frame pattern 1 and then clothing frame A. The first two values, center X and center Y, it's the placement of your pantograph. So once you place your pantograph at the center, of the center of the frame, we copy those numbers on the coordinates. So in this case will be 99, center X, 99, and center Y is going to be minus 51. So that we're telling our machine every time we select frame A, we want the pantograph to found that location. It's 99 minus 51, which is the center of our frame. Now we need to tell the machine what area we want our machine to work. On frame A, which is the biggest frame, we are going to set up on X 435 and on the Y 285. And then our frame is rectangle, so we leave that field the way it is and then we press OK. Then we need to go to frame pattern 2. So you can see we got more clothing frames there that we need to set up. The frame B is going to be our 30 by 30 hoop. So we press frame B, same center, you raise zero and you put 99 and then on Y you put minus 51. Okay, it's minus 51. And then our frame B, it's a 30 by 30 centimeter frame. As you can see in the sticker, it says 30 by 30 centimeter. Converting 30 by 30 to millimeters is going to be 300 by 300 you just add a zero and you will have uh, the centimeters on millimeters 30 by 30 centimeters is going to be 300 by 300 millimeters so that is the area of the hoop but you need to leave some space at the edges of the hoop where the press foot needs to work so we're going to set up the 30 by 30 we're going to set up in 260 millimeter area okay 260 the y also is going to be 260 and this hoop is a rectangular hoop so we press ok so there you go there is our frame b now we are going to set up the frame c our frame c is the 19 centimeter hoop so first we're going to add the center that it's going to be 99 minus minus 51 and then the area that we want to have in that hoop is is a 19 centimeter converting that to millimeter is going to be 190 we take off 20 millimeters so we're going to set up the 19 centimeter hoop to 170 and then the Y 170 and we change this to circular because it's a circular uh, hoop press OK and then frame D 
I'm going to put the same center, which is 99 minus, okay, erase minus 51. And then the uh, frame D or hoop D, it's a 15 centimeter hoop. Converting that to millimeter is going to be 150 millimeters. Taking off 20 millimeters give us 130 millimeter. 130, erase 130, and this is also a circular hoop. There is our frame D, and then E, same center. This hoop, uh, the hoop E or frame E, it's 120, I'm sorry, it's a 12 centimeter, which is going to be 120 millimeter, taking off 20 millimeters for the area where the press foot is going to be working. Erase this and we're going to put 100 millimeter area. Change this to circle and then OK. And then we got frame F. The frame F, we want the same center, 99, erase minus 51. And frame F is a 9 centimeter hoop. Converting that to millimeter is going to be 90 millimeters. Taking 20 millimeter off, we're going to have 70 millimeter area where we want that frame to be set up and it's going to be a circle and then okay now you have frame g h and i if you've got an aftermarket hoop just measure it convert that to millimeters take off around 20 to 25 millimeters in order to set up the an aftermarket hoop the center of all the hoops it's the same Okay, in order to set up the values for the cab driver, we need to remove the tubular arms. But no tubular arms do not install the cab driver until you do the auto frame origin. So first do an auto frame origin. Then exit and place your coordinates at zero. And then move the panograph to the front and then install the cab driver. Okay, the reference that I use to set up my cap driver, I place my cap driver where the hole of the needle plate is in between of these two screws, but more likely more near to the back screw. right there. That is the position of the cap driver that I want every time I select the hat frame on the machine. So to set up the, the uh, values for the cap system we have to press, we have to go to settings so we press here the left arrow and I'm going to press the setting icon and then frame pad at 1 and then hat frame J and for our center position is going to be 100 for our Y position is going to be 33 and then for the area that we want 
to stitch out is going to be 365 and then the movement of the Y is going to be 65. Now this uh, values can va vary depending on on the cap, especially on the wife movement, it could vary a lot. So some people uses no frames to do caps. Some people likes to select a frame for for a cap. So these are the values. You must try it, do a trace to see if those values work. If not, maybe you will have to increase the Y or maybe decrease the Y uh, value in order to get better result on your cap. It's going to be rectangle and then OK. And that's how you set up the hat frame uh, on your red line embroidery machine. Thank you for watching.